Today it is time to take a deep dive into the EA FC 24 gameplay. If you want to get cheap and reliable coins, go check the best place on the market, fifacoin.com with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code OVI for extra discount. Link is in the description. I'm sure that all of you have already watched the full gameplay dive, deep dive trailer, but now we're gonna uh, go inside the trailer. We're gonna move to the EA Sports FC uh, 24 official website and we're gonna see the new features. Hyper Motion V, play styles, attacking, defending, across the pitch and additional changes. That's a lot. And from what I've seen, Hyper Motion V is just something huge. It's absolutely huge. Uh, what they are doing is capturing it feels like moves from real life football. So at this moment, you actually in previous years, you know what I didn't to do. They, they brought in like, I don't know, 22 uh, semi-pro or professional football players and they were uh, having some vests on them, uh, some points to uh, just record exactly their movement and then translate it in the game. Now, what they are doing is with the full cameras, I think we got seven, ten uh, video cameras across the pitch uh, to put the game on TV. They are doing this and getting the footage from there and now just incorporating it in the game, which is, yo, I say this at the beginning of every season. This is truly a game changer. Hopefully it will be a game changer. We're going to have so many new animations. Uh, that is for sure. So yeah, Hyper Motion V on PlayStation 5 and PC and Xbox Series X zone only next gen. Driving the biggest leap forward in gameplay authenticity and realism. Uh, using volumetric data of more than 180 top tier matches from competitions like UEFA Men's and Women's Women's Champions League, Premier League and La Liga EA Sports. Yo! I'm actually speechless. This could be huge. This means that movements in EA Sports FC 24 comes from teams like Real Madrid, PSG and City and that the animations of hundreds of in-game players are influenced by actions of real-world professionals on the pitch. Yo, if, if they really manage to pull this, it is incredible. Advanced 11 versus 11 match capture, yeah. Okay, okay, we've seen this. Uh, already spoken about machine learning. Using this advanced 11 versus 11, uh, the Hypermotion V teaches the EA Sports FC pro proprietary machine learning algorithm how to recreate true to football motion. Yeah, in, even in real life, in real time to make world's game feel immersive and unique. In EAFC 24, we used machine learning to enhance the movement between technical dribble touches and to evolve the ML flow feature. Yo, and this is volumetric. Let, let me see this. We're gonna see a penalty kick here, and uh, this is from real life, right? Yeah, that's exactly from real life. Yeah, this is uh, th this might be the biggest game changer ever. Ever, 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 ever. AI Mimic. What is this? AI Mimic takes footballers' real-world volumetric data and uses advanced artificial intelligence to recreate unique body movements. Now, Accelerate 2.0. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look at that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lengthy run times will catch up to the explosive. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna have a quick refresher on the base acceleration types. You can have controlled. Most players in the AFC will fall into the pacing control type as they accelerate in a more balanced and controlled manner. Explosive, shorter and more agile. Lengthy, taller and stronger players. Lengthy back, maybe. Uh, in EA Sports FC, we're going to have controlled explosive, 50% explosive, 50% controlled. Mostly explosive, 70 explosive, 30 controlled. Control lengthy, 50 lengthy, 50 controlled, mostly lengthy, 70 lengthy, 30% controlled. I guess, yo. 
So this is depending on height and agility and acceleration. Agility versus strength different. Yo, you got so many. So you got explosive, pure, mostly explosive, controlled explosive, control, control, lengthy, mostly lengthy, lengthy, pure. Kinetic physical play. Kinetic shielding. Using the same technology at kinetic air battles, these new two players shielding animations provide more authentic battles. Shield pushback. You, if you press L2 or Alt LT to request a shield pushback. Pushbacks are more effective the higher the difference in strength is. Okay, of course. And shielding when holding. L2. The effectiveness of the shielder is reduced by the longer the shield button is held. So, okay. The stronger the player, the longer they can shield effectively. Classic. Impact of attributes in shielding mechanic has been increased, with strength having the biggest impact, of course. Improvements have been made to the shielding system, including sh effectiveness, strength, and interactions. AI true flight ball physics. Okay. Okay. We will see this once we play more the game. AI hands. Stretch sense gloves capture natural hand movement as a new level. Okay. So, moving the hands will be more realistic understand that, that that's it from this and it's as i was saying absolutely game changer so far moving on we got play styles this is another big change bro they, they changed so much play styles optimized by opta optimized by real world opta play styles dimensionalized athletes going beyond overall ratings to bring to life the on pitch abilities that make players special <sighs> Yo, this will be, be if they don't balance it properly, it might be an issue. Let's see. So, power shot the player who is known for taking powerful shots from outside the box performs power shots faster and with increased speed. Oh, yo, that, that's so nice. So, you won't do the same animation and speed for power shots for all players like before. Gameplay effects. Performs power shots my fa uh, with a significant. This is oh okay. Playstyle, playstyle plus. Is, is this the same? Gameplay effects. Is this? They they just wrote gameplay effects two times. This uh, I think this is a mistake in how the website is working. Okay, dead ball. What is this? A player who is known for being a specialist at taking set pieces. Set pieces are delivered with increased speed, curve, and accuracy. Ball trajectory preview line is longer. Okay, and Bolter Preview Line is at maximum length here. Now, chip shot. Okay, too often try to chip the goalkeeper. How's the effect in gameplay? Performs chip shots faster and with greater accuracy. I imagine, imagine, imagine the chip shots. Imagine the chip shots with this. Yo, the possibilities. Finesse shot. Yo, there's so many in attack. Finesse shot. So this means that it uh, performs finesse shots faster with additional curve and improved accuracy. Yo! I think the gameplay is so, will be so varied. So many, so versatile, so many options. Power header performs headers with increased power and accuracy. Okay, you'll be able to add this. Ha <laughs> uh, ha Passing. Pinched pass. Through passes are more accurate, sword passes are delivered with more curve and precision passes travel faster. Precision pass is something new. Incisive pass. Passes travel faster along the ground when impacted the trapping difficulty of the receiver. Long ball passer. Lob, lob and lofted through passes are more accurate. What else? Tiki Taka. Executes difficult first time ground passes. First time ground pass with high accuracy. And whip pass. All crosses are highly accurate. Travel faster and with more curve. <laughs> Actually excited. First touch flare press proven. Uh, first touch is reduced ball error when trapping the ball and is able to transition the dribble faster with greater control. Okay, first touch important for for strikers, I think. For strikers, most important. When you play a driven pass to the striker, you'll be able to stop the ball. Very nice. Uh, fancy passes with the flare accuracy here. Not a big, 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 big. Uh, fan of this in the previous FIFA 23 because in FIFA 23 if you remember um, driven uh, ground pass if you've had the flare it did the outside foot shot and uh, the direction was not that good 
Now press proven, keeps close control of the ball while dribbling at jog speed and can shield the ball more effectively from stronger opponents. And what else? Yo, there's so many! Technical, rapid and trickster. So trickster grants the ability to perform unique flick skill moves. Technical, reaches a higher speed when performing control sprint and performs wide turns while dribbling with more precision. Rapid, reaches a higher sprint speed while dribbling and has a reduced chance of error when sprinting or performing knock-ons. Now defending has six. And the, you got also physical, there's so many, man. Block is increased reach when performing blocks. He That's big. Bruiser, greater strength when performing physical tackles. Okay. Intercept, increased reach and improved chances of retaining possession. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is like a tactician in FIFA 23. Anticipate, improved chances of standing tackle success and grants the ability to stop the ball directly at their feet when performing a standing tackle. Okay. Slide tackle. Uh, can guess that when performing a slight tackle increased efficiency jockey increased max speed of sprint jockey and improved transition speed from jockey to, oh this is big this jockey is big this jockey is huge Tr mark my words this jockey is huge physical acrobatic performs volleys and improved accuracy aerial performs higher jumps yeah. okay Contextual triggers outside of the foot passes and shots. The Trivela. Mm -hmm. Now, long throw, we know what that means. Quick step accelerates faster during the explosive. Relentless reduces fatigue loss during play and increases fatigue recovery during halftime. This relentless, if they are not careful with it, might be overpowered because you put relentless here on the players and then. They never get fatigued, so you can play uh, constant pressure. It doesn't, this needs to be taken care of. Goalkeeper has far throw. We know what that means. Footwork is back players will increase reaction and speed. Okay. Uh, cross claimer goes for crosses. Okay. Quick reflexes. Far, re far reach. Wait. More effective at saving shots from outside the box with increased reach and jumping. Rush out. Increased speed when running. Yo, a lot. A lot of info, guys. A lot of info. Play styles and this hyper motion V. A lot of info. What else? Attacking. Passing provides new tools, new features such as precision passing, swerve on demand, and header headers on demand. Precision passing. Perform a precision pass, you have a few options. Press R1 and triangle for a precision ground pass. R1 and square for a precision low pass. I'm curious how this will work because through balls have been okay, but there's room for improvement in FIFA 23. Low through balls have been much better at times. This new mechanic introduces more skill, hopefully. Swerve on demand. This is another type of swerve ground pass. Okay, header on demand. What is this? Are you confident that a quick header pass to start a counterattack is the best choice? Okay. Now you can request that with headers on demand. To uh, So this is long pass to the striker and then uh, he passes with the head, right? Press L2 plus R2 plus intended pass type. Ah, players will attempt to make a header if the ball if the ball is above three feet from the ground. Okay, other passing changes. So many changes! I've never seen an air with so many changes. Driven through bat driven through pass has moved to L1 L1 plus R1 in triangle. Driven lobe L1 R1 square. Outside of foot passes. Only players with Trivela playstyle can perform outside the foot. Okay. On demand, and that's it. Other improvement. Passes can now be cancelled by performing a variety of skill moves. Added hundreds of new and refreshed animations for headers, jostling passes, toe poke passes, and sliding passes. <sighs> Controlling the ball dribbling. F4 dribble touch. New mecha- Whoa, Yo, wait. <gasps> F yo, what do they do? Is this a sprint and then they change direction? Wait. Let me see how I can do it. Uh, R1 plus right stick for an effort touch. Yeah, yeah, look at KDB. Yo, the options here. That's one. 
It's gonna do one more. This might be OP. This might be OP in the next game. Orbit dribble. Yeah, it's incredible how many we got new. So orbit dribble right here. L L two plus L one and the left stick. And what do they do? This is a small sprint. They change direction. Allows you to move around the ball without taking the touch. Adjust your body position and set yourself on your stronger foot. <gasps> it's a, it allows you, yo, it allows you to choose the foot for the skill or for the next move. Orbit dribble. Okay. Controlled sprint. I see him. Sp controls. I just see sprint. Ah, wait. So you can sprint keeping the ball closer. Interesting in new dribbling speed is faster than a jog. Slower than full sprint. Control has more control touches keeping the ball closer. Hold R1. You see, you see, he keeps the ball close, but still sprinting. Small sprint. Additional controlling to ball changes. Bro, this is gonna be, this is a long video. Back pedal traps added several new animations, okay. Head traps, multiple new head control tra trapping animations. Uh, agile dribbling, input has been changed. Slow dribble has been changed. Shooting. Several changes to shooting this year. Precision shooting. Precision shooting consists of three main elements. Aiming reward, the vital part of a vital part where players are rewarded, increase the accuracy the closer they aim to the net. Compared to the, an assisted shot in a similar position, the accuracy of a precision shot will be great. So more, okay, more, more, more precise. Aiming in, new aiming indicator under your player. When you take a shot, it helps you understand where you are aiming. This indicator can be turned off. Okay, maybe we start with it with this decision to understand how it works and then we turn it off, most likely. Six, e six yard box assist. Six yard. EA Sports. Six yard. Meters, man. Meters, meters, meters. 90% were. It's in meters. Come on. New logic to assist first time shots near the six yard box. So you don't need to be as precise in the split second you. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I like that. So easier to finish there. Okay. Headers on demand. Uh, we've spoken about it. Uh, okay. Shooting improvements. Quick release shots. When tapping, when tapping the shot button near the goal, your player will attempt to take the shot with the earliest animation. For a very responsive shot. <gasps> what? Power shot to cheap weight. Advanced shot cancels. So shot can now be cancelled with a variety of skill moves. <gasps> this is superb. This is superb. After powering up your shot, you have a brief window to use the right stick to transition into a skill move. Oh, you can do more skills after cancelling. That is superb. You can do a... Uh, here, you're doing a normal shot, then you cancel into a cheap shot. Wow. Power shot transition. You can now transition to a different shot type during the power shot animation. Nice. And you got animation refresh. I've never seen so many changes in a game, yo. We've added new skill moves to the game and some changes to existing ones. New skills. Ball roll drag. Drag back turn. Flare nutmegs. Flare rainbow. And you can see... Uh, can we see him? See them here? Yeah, we can, we can. Oh! <gasps> That was nasty! That was nasty! But that that's not Holland. They should have ch chosen a different player. More technique player. Oh, between the legs, okay. And this is the Vinny one. Who looks very, very tasty. That's a beautiful finish. New tricks of playstyle flicks and skill move controls below this when the game starts. Attacking positioning. On PS5, so this is something different. Diagonal runs. Players will now attempt to make more decisive diagonal runs to cut through gaps in the defensive line. Good. Find space. Player may position themselves higher inside the box while attempting to find a passing lane to empty space. Dynamic defensive line. Players will adjust to accommodate wing backs making attacking runs. What does this mean? They will shift or drop to cover their space while their space while the wing backs are out of position. Uh huh. If one wing back has pushed up to an attacking position, the rest of the defensive line will shift to cover and play in the shape of a three back. 
I've never seen I've never seen in any season something so yo kudos to EA man this is if only they could they could save the servers I just played the draft for my second channel and played again against the German I believe in Eastern Europe connection was horrible if only they fixed that because the changes that they they're showing here they're just insane it might be superb wait 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 what's next defending Yo, this is huge. So many defensive actions. Advanced defending. New setting that changes the layout of the defending buttons. The goal is to give players the choice of what defensive action they want to launch. Ah. Press X to request, request a shoulder challenge or seal out. Press circle to request a stand tackle. Huh, okay. More defensive improvements. New animations, animation cleanup, new tackles. Okay, new animations here. Defensive positioning, zonal defense. When using a depth higher than 45, players will attempt to mark opponents higher up the field and close the ball possessor, cutting off possible passing lanes. This can open up gaps for the attacking team. Okay. When the ball is close to sideline, the, side the defenders will attempt to close down the ball carrier. To reduce the near passing. Mm -hmm. This can leave the far side of the pitch open to attack opportunities. So if you play higher than 45, your team will automatically maybe go narrow. When they press and the opponent, if the opponent plays in wide formation, he will have an advantage to change sides maybe. Pressure tactics. When using pressure tactics, Okay, a player's marking tightness will be more varied, so not all players will be tightly marked. The goal for this change is to prevent the flow of the game from completely changing when one user allowing the attacking team to make smart passing decisions. Ah, okay, maybe they fix this. Maybe they fix the problem from constant pressure from pre previous seasons. Goalkeeper, new push deflects. When the goalkeeper cannot catch the ball, they will now attempt to push a shot deflection. Okay, uh, so th th they don't catch it, that they just deflective into safer areas. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, mm, player switching allows you to customize customize the switching to your preferences. Let me see, so right stick switching. Sensitivity gives you control over what is more important when performing a right stick switch. The distance of the players or the angle. Huh. When adjusted the sensitivity for right stick switching, the higher the sensitivity, the more the game will respect the right stick input when selecting the next player. Lower the sensitivity, the more likely the system will select a player in closer proximity, even if your right stick input is not pointing directly at them. This needs to be tested. Next player switching, nearest to ball, goal side, classic combination of multiple. Prefers players that are closer to the ball for the nearest goal side. Prefer players that are on the goal side of the ball. N needs to be tested. This needs to be tested, but too many changes. It's absolutely huge. Too many, too many changes. Across the pitch. Across the pitch. Okay, let me see. Free kicks. Increased low passes, power curve, and dip to provide more options when crossing the ball. From deep free kicks, I don't believe in this. Uh, pros will still do short passes, I think, maybe, most of the times. Increased power curve and deep for shots from free kicks. I still think that uh, this may be nice for casual players, for pro players. Uh, you just go with short pass. Penalty kicks, okay. This Increase the save zones for goalkeepers from 3 to 5 in order for more attentive decision making required from a goalkeeper in penalties. Last year, goalkeepers in penalty kicks needed to select one or th of three zones. Yes! Yes, yes, come on. So goalkeeper just needed to, to jump left, stay center, or right, yes to save it. Now you can go top left, bottom left, center, top right and bottom right. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Finally, finally, boom. Competitive setting master switch. Okay, so competitive settings and master switch will be in ultimate team rivals. Ultimate Team Champions and Ultimate Team Draft in Seasons and Cup in Clubs. Okay. One new setting has been adding to competitive preset advanced defending. You cannot select between tactical or advanced with the competitive preset. 
rules referee strictness added new system to differentiate between the referee strictness options now referees of different strictness will call offsides push pulls and many more types of fall differently this is stupid for offsides i don't understand it offside is offside for a strict or non-strict referee it's just offside this is stupid to have offside here better tackle detection better detect tackle trajectories in calculation for increased accuracy for falls okay generally imp improved breakaway logic and last man back situations to make better okay this is for referees now uh new avatar runs can be applied to avatars in player career turtle matilda lioness and more player humanization additional changes ad board movement preservation everywhere cpu ai uh, they they will also use precision passes, swerve. Of course they use. Of of course of course. If it's in the game, use it. And what is this? Eval engine added new stats seen in Broscats, such as win probability, contested possession, ball recovery, and line breaks. Okay, okay. Uh, last but not least, additional chain. What, what more? Oh, I think I read about this. This is practice ar arena. Practice arena will be something new you can have scenarios move add and remove players to create new scenarios mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you can trace certain scenarios practice match now available good jumping barrier prop has been added to the freaky prep to help you improve your skills okay well, okay so they jump now like in real life in, in real games enhanced haptics Will allow players to turn the haptics feedback to maximum possible on the control decision practice arena, or not? No, 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 it's not practice. This, this only, only this is practice. Skill games, added new skill games like precision passing, precision shooting, and control sprints. Thank you for that important because the new features they need to be added. Okay, try out the new playstyles play in skill games to truly feel the difference. We've re reworked career mode skill games to make them more challenging and engaging to fit the new training system. Nah, I don't believe in this. All in all, guys, what's big? Huge, 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 huge. Hyper Motion V, they've actually copied movement from City, from PSG, from Real Madrid, from players from there. This is big. This is really big. Playstyles, big. If they're not balanced properly, might be problematic. Uh, attacking, defending, we got new features that will also be important. It's It will be, maybe, comparing to last seasons, not necessarily a truly a new game, but maybe the biggest change in terms of gameplay because they've added so many new features. It might be similar to 23, but having so many new features in the game will make the gameplay evolve and the meta evolve. It is going to be an interest, at least an interesting season. Drop a comment below. Let me know what do you guys think about the new features in EAFC24. This will be all for today's video. My name is Ovin. I'll see you fellas in the next videos. Bye-bye.